Hello and welcome to GP Support North's 10-part information mini-series all about Management Reporter, overviewing the additional functionality and helpful tips for this reporting tool on Dynamics GP. With that said, let's jump right into making a summary trial balance report. Over to you, Melissa. So right here now, as you can see, I brought in my journal entry attribute of journal entry. So when I generate the report, I'm going to see that extra layer of journal entries. And because I'm bringing in my opening balance, okay, and I want to be, since this is trial balance, I want the opening balance to include my year to date for my balance sheet items. So I have a choice here of periodic which is helpful, but it only brings in my periodic balance from the beginning of the period. What I want is the year to date balance here. Okay. And I'm going to leave these at periodic because these are differences. However, I'm going to change this to one to base. So from the very first period to what I'm running it for, for what I'm telling the report to run it for. So I'm going to be running um, it for to uh, April. So it's going to bring in all my results summarized from January to April here because I'm doing this. Okay. And I'm going to do that base. Okay. And I said, this column is just for debits. Okay. So I just want to bring in my debit. I don't want everything. I just want debit. So I can do this by going into the column restriction here on this line and I double click here and I can see my debits there. Okay, as you can see, there's other choices here. You can suppress columns, things like that here too. Okay, and the other one I'm going to bring in, of course, is my credits. Okay, so now I have my debits and credits. I think I'm going to bring it in from one to base. So it's going to summarize everything for me. Um, it's almost doing a year-to-date balance, but with a periodic. Okay, and right here now, I'm going to do my calculation. I put in my calculation, so I'm going to put in my formula here. And I'm saying, what's the net difference between these two, right? Since I'm keeping credits as credits, okay, they're going to be in a credit position. So I'm just going to add those two columns together to get the net difference. Okay. And then for my closing balance, the closing balance would be my opening plus my net difference. So that's just as simple as D plus G, and that's that simple, all right? My my column there, okay? So I built my my rows, which was the original one here, just to remind you, my summary TV, which is just simple as all accounts and a star and minusing out my unit, okay? When you're actually working on reports, uh, if you want to quickly see your rows and columns again, you don't have to flip over here and, and you know, change your screens to get to it. You can just click into it from here, okay? It's more preferable you do this because eventually you're going to have a lot of rows and columns and if you're going to make adjustments, you want to make sure you're making the adjustment to the right row and column that you're working with, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put in and I can do at report name. Where is my report name? This one. Okay. And then I can do another one. And I'm going to do company name right here. Okay. So I have the names there, but then I can also put report descriptions too. Okay, and what's the difference between the two? Okay, and I'm going to show you. So I'm going to put report description, and then I'm going to also insert company description right here. Okay, um, and then I'm going to also, since this is going to be a trial balance, it's going to have many pages. I can also insert other page numbers. So I can say page number right here, I go of and insert page number of the total number of pages kind of thing. Oh, actually I could have just done it total pages. I could just done one click with it too. Um, if you get to know these codes, very simple, at page, you could just type it in. You don't need to actually do the extra click, okay? I'm just doing it so just to let you know that there are different options that you can put in here. Okay, and then here, you know, I'm going to put the time again. I'm not going to put in the words, but I'm just going to put in the time printed again. So which was the system date and then the system time right there. 
Thanks, Melissa. What a great overview on the versatility of making a summary trial balance report. For more on Management Reporter or how GP Support North can help you on a successful digital transformation while staying on Dynamics GP, follow GP Support North on LinkedIn. We'll see you there.